Sometimes, to get a thing done right, you need to do it again. And that's true whether it's home calls or home run calls. And our guarantee is that we'll stick to the job for however long it takes to get right. Even when we're not 100% sure what we're doing, or even that sure about what the job is. Like whatever Penny is working on here, for example. But after a long day on the job, it is important to have a good place to rest. Sure, a throne is nice, but it's not the most comfortable accommodation, even for a queen. Now, alternatively, you can just collapse in style wherever you are, like Zero or like Lincoln. Though, we do endeavor to find a better respite. Which is why, as you may remember, we decided a while back to get a new couch. The old one simply wasn't cutting it. With Lincoln's help, I picked up the new digs and they quickly became a family favorite. That is, until the favorite couch went missing. To say the pups were distraught is putting it mildly. These poor souls were lost without their familiar retreat. It was quite the pitiful sight. The absence knocked them down and completely spun them around. But please, allow me to explain. We have a great sunny area up front that we never used because the windows were so drafty they might as well have been open during the winter. But we are finally getting new windows, so I moved the couch in anticipation of putting it there. The dogs were further displeased at being sequestered during the install, but somehow they managed to endure. Sure, they're not supposed to be on the bed, but some scoundrel had stolen the couch, so he wasn't in the best bargaining position. When the couch was miraculously recovered, the dogs remained suspect of the restoration. To show my contrition, I resolved to get the job done right by buying an even bigger couch for the back. This one required helpers slightly larger than Lincoln. I set up the new couch, the dogs hopped on, and order was restored in the universe. Kind of. Because of course, the day the new couch arrived, Penny discovered how the light hits the couch up front. And Zero? Well, Zero rediscovered that he gets second pick of sunbathing spots. But that's another story. Either way, the good news is the dogs now have more places than ever to lay their heads. Though, that's not to say there aren't occasional disturbances. I think the lesson here is to move your dog's favorite couch at your own peril. Yes, it comes with great risks, but so too does it come with great reward. Like what? Well, how about an entire massive side of the couch just for me? Well, that is, of course, until I actually sit down on it. Because no matter how much things change, some things always remain the same. And contently laying with a couple dogs on top of me is a tough job, but I'm always working to get better at it. And I'm grateful to have the best coworkers a guy could ask for.